Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you guys some adjustments and stuff that you can use if you want to involve cover four quarters in your defense. Now, some people do use it online. Some of you don't even use it at all, but I'm going to show you if you could blend it in with cover four drop, give your opponent a cover four look all the time. Uh, it, it works out pretty good. Before we get into it, man, make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Become a member of the Wolfpack. Link is in the description. Now, I say the defense is good in the right hands of people that know what they're doing. However, cover four quarters is a defense you have to be careful with because of the matching principles and the assignments. You know how the corner guards the number one. The safeties look at the number two receivers. But what I want to show you guys is... A formation on offense that you can run to to counter it as well as trying to stop from stop things from that offense as well so i'm gonna try to give you guys both both sides of the story you know what i'm saying so we're just gonna come out big nickel cover four this is just to help you guys out if you want to try to implement this maybe run it a couple times this is not a defense that you stick to okay this is just something you pull up probably like on third down maybe third and short um, but you got to be careful with it because I'm going to show you guys why. So big nickel cover four quarters, but I'm going to give you guys all, all the, you know, I guess whatever tips and adjustments that you you can do. But I just want to show you guys, and people don't haven't seen this or known this, but Trey White Flex PA Crossers. Okay, now it's an old school play, right? Um, but the play stock, if you just cancel play action, I mean, in cover four quarters, you, I want you guys to see the B route. Also, I'm not using a mobile QB, I, and that's why, bro. I'm I'm telling you guys, I am horrible without the mobile QB. But you're gonna notice that if we just cancel play action, leave the play the way it is. If the user's not picking up that B route, look what happens. You see what I'm saying? It's it's crazy. Now, obviously, someone's probably gonna use that. But let's go ahead and talk about the first part. Okay, so let's say you're going against cover four, and they're just running it stock. You're noticing, okay, it's, I don't see hard flats. Uh, my drags are getting open. I gotta, I gotta drag and, and a slant this way. And, and so you, the way I run it is, I'll streak somebody right, and then I'll come over here and I'll slant somebody, then bring them over like that and drag somebody. You typically, what's gonna happen is my slants get open, uh, the slant, uh, the drags get open, the slants get open, things like that in cover four quarters. I showed you guys that in the previous video. Okay, but another one that gets open that people don't really utilize against cover four is the out route. So an out route. Against the stock cover four, it's just gonna do work. And just like in, in three, four odd cover four drop, people like to do that as well. They'll throw you a quick quick out route. Typically it's from the outside receivers that are gonna throw it, but I think in cover four quarters, I think even Y might be someone you can throw to. You see what I'm saying? So you could throw these quick out routes in cover four. Now to counter that, all you're gonna do in cover four is you're just gonna take wire triangle right stick down for underneath, okay? Now, this is Madden, they don't really, <laughs> Maybe you'll get a pick. Once you shade down, you'll have someone there. Boom, probably get the pick. But this is Madden. That's not going to be a pick, right? Depends. Depends on the game. So that's how you stop those out routes. Now, the way you're going to stop this B route is you're probably going to have to user it. All right? So I usered him, and if he's too slow, this is why you put uh, safeties instead of linebackers in those positions because of that right there. And especially if he's in X Factor. I'm going to go ahead and take a sack, or I'm going to throw a pick. So, well, no, he's not an X Factor. So stock, bro, you'll see that this guy gets open. Now we can make this even better, okay? And let me show you guys what I mean. I've shown you guys that whenever I go against cover four quarters, I tell you, cover four quarters is not gonna beat me and it can't be your base defense. And here's why. I'm gonna take RB, I'm gonna put him on a wheel route and then I'm gonna motion him over. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I leave the play the way it is, it's, if I have a, QB that can roll out. I probably should have picked like the Seahawks or something because you typically against the better players are going to face the dashing dead eye with the escape artist, but we'll use Drew Brees, okay? But the defensive line for the 49ers is incredible, so we're not going to have a lot of time. However, don't worry about me getting sacked. Look at the B and the Y route, okay? With the wheel route on the left side, I can manipulate cover four quarters to even let this route get wide open. So the user is going to have to pick and choose. You see that one play touchdown to one play touchdown against cover four quarters because we're manipulating the defense. So right here, we're going to go ahead and put him on a wheel route, then motion him over, make his wheel go opposite. That's what I'm going to do. And now I have B or Y. And with a mobile QB, 
you see B over there to the right side, but the user's probably gonna be on that, right? So you could bullet pass that right over the top. One more time so you guys can see it. This time I'll try to throw the B route and I'll double team this guy and then ID this guy in Slide Protect, right? I don't know if it works in play action, but look at B right over the top by himself, bro. So if he's not if he's not picking up those routes, these are these are touchdowns, bro. And that's what I'm saying. You need to be careful with what you're doing with this defense. Now, in big nickel, to increase your pass rush, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch the D-line, QB contain. QB contains, if you notice, these guys, I just want you guys to pay attention. They come to the outside pretty good. And the way we have it set up is that if I try to break away, these guys are gonna break away with me, and boom. It's a sack, right? I need to take a sack anyway because of the X factors. Another thing you can do is you can spread the D-line. I don't recommend this part though because then they can just run inside zone. But you'll notice that now they have a better release to the quarterback. Look, boom, can't get out. So to stop the mobile QBs and keep them in, you're probably gonna have to do that. So in obvious passing situations, you're gonna do that. Now, a standard setup is going to be, you could base a line. Base a line might, might help you. Uh, with these plays and then put cloud flats up there and see but a stock PA crosser just annihilates this look at this like way over here and if you implement the wheel route with the running back right there's two routes that are going to get wide open so the user is going to have to pick and choose what he wants to do and matter of fact I don't know if I can drag this guy let me go ahead and just see what it does if I drag this guy do they still get open yeah, they still get open. So if I got to hit the drag, I'll hit the drag, but I can one play TD this. Now, you're asking, well, well how do I stop that? Well, I'm glad you asked, bro. There's a feature that some of you probably don't even know, uh, and that feature is the stick. So wire triangle, you'll see that box on the bottom uh, right, LB or L1. Well, actually, bottom right of the box, it says sticks. You want to play sticks, okay? Now I want you guys to see what the blues do in cover four quarters. Now, the reason we're gonna do this instead of just running cover four drop, because we want your opponent to see cover four quarters in previous plays. See, this is how you scheme. You wanna have that cover four shell, the cover four look. You can come in out of cover four regular defense. You can come out of in, in and out of cover four drop, in and out of cover four quarters, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So now look at the routes. We're gonna try the first one first with the B route with the sticks activated. If we throw it to B, boom, we got my mans right there ready to pick that off you see what i'm saying so what would your opponent think would work in his mind isn't really going to work so let's go ahead and like uh let's say we um pinch crash qb contain right you don't have to crash or move your line but qb contain at least at least do yourself a solid there and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play the sticks i i think i yeah lb for sticks okay and then right here, boom. Okay, oh, this cover four quarters. I'm looking for B. Oh, he's not open. Oh, I'm looking for Y. There's nothing I can do. There's people in the way, bro, ready to pick that off. So playing the sticks, not only that, it's going to help you against the other glitch that I do right here. We're motioning someone out, putting them RB, right? Uh, let's go ahead and just play purples. We'll shade over the top for curl flats, and then we'll play sticks. So now we can run like a, a cover four drop out of cover four quarters from the big nickel so you don't necessarily have to use three four odd cover four drop you can use cover four quarters and turn it into cover four drop right after this i'm going to show you guys why we're going to run cover four quarters so boom boom try to throw this over the middle boom we got somebody there you see these plays aren't working no more because of that so your base cover four quarters is and, and by all means if you think you could get away with it right then just leave the play the way it is. But like I said, there are routes that are designed to just smoke this defense, and crossers is one of them, especially if you use the wheel route combination. Now, why do we want to use cover four quarters and turn it into cover four drop? Simple fact is, these guys, if you sub them in, uh, sub the safeties in, right, you have faster people than you do in cover four drop. Not only that is, you guys know that three, four odd version, your linebackers start like, right here when you spread them right you, they start right here like they're, they're they're everybody's close right so they hit you with out routes with the the cover four quarters we can turn it into a cover four drop right real easy by those adjustments and those guys are going to be there so let me show you what i mean so let's say they're going to throw a quick out route against our cover four right you don't base a line because you want your people where they're at. And then we're going to shade underneath and then we're going to play the stick. So we have our cover four shell doing our work, right? So like say, okay, he's going to hit this out route real quick. 
boom, we got someone there to, to be in the way. Now, another reason why is because of the run game. So let's go ahead and crash the line down, QB contain, and then we'll bring these guys down into the box, bro. You can bring these guys down into the box, play the sticks. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky because you can play sticks and still use the quarter flats, but if you're facing someone like Tyree Kill, you have to be careful, homies, case. Don't, don't take your chance. Boom, we got these guys reacting the way they're supposed to react. There's nobody open in this play. Everything is locked up. Unless he bounces back, obviously, and then possesses and catches you because that happens in Madden. So things like that. So cover four quarters with the run fits are going to help you stop the run. So let's say I don't know how good inside zone is against the cover four quarters, to be honest with you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and play sticks, and then we can press. But if you're having a fast wide receiver on the left side, you better back these guys up. But you can, you can even base align if you want. I, I don't really recommend base aligning in cover four quarters, but you can. So if I try to run inside zone, we have people in the run fits. I mean, he still gets to the outside. It just depends, man. And plus, we're using linebackers instead of safeties. The most crucial part, another crucial part, not like the most important, but actually is kind of most important, is when you do come into the big nickel, I'll show you guys something. You want to make sure that you could take these guys out. So right here, you, you got your middle linebacker. I know these guys are good, but you need the speed in Madden, bro. That's just the way it works. I don't even think we can. Yeah, so you're going to want your best linebacker somewhere if, if you have to use a linebacker. With the Chiefs, you can use a free safety and a strong safety. So that just makes the big nickel a little bit better. And these guys will get to the outside and whatnot. So I just wanted to explain cover four quarters and how to use it properly. Be careful with it, man. Uh, it's good to use. You can turn it into a cover four drop and you can have faster backs without having to use the big dime. And that's the reason because people will just say, well, I can just run big dime cover four, right? Whatever. But the thing is, people can run on that really easy. With this, you still have the big nickel and you still, it, it, it's the way the computer recognizes the plays. They'll be able to jet to the run a little bit easier to help stop the run game from the shotgun formation. Do not use the defense against someone under center. It's, it's just not going to be good enough. This is primarily for someone running shotgun. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Love you guys, man. Peace.